now we have a guy who's got one heck of an inspirational story. And I know that you're going to applaud really loud for this guy because he fed you tonight. From the Pita Pit, it is Andrew Scott. How many of you guys raise your hand if you have a plan to get where you want to go? Okay, we're good. How many of you guys are working towards that every single day? That's good. I'm glad to see that because there's a lot of people that don't have a plan and aren't working towards that at all. So let me talk a little bit about me, where I came from, how I got to where I am. I started in business when I was 20 years old. So I was a little bit young. I was in university studying at the University of Ottawa, studying political science, realized, hey, I'm probably not gonna get a job in my field. I was just in this place, it was so dark. And I just remember this one night, driving home. It was about three in the morning, driving down Bank Street. And as I was on my way home, I just remember thinking to myself, like, why am I even doing this? Like, what's the point? Why am I here? I'm struggling so much. I'm a complete and utter failure. Every time I look in the mirror, I just feel like a failure. My dad's going to lose his house. I'm going to go bankrupt. What is the point of any of this? So I remember that time. And as I was driving along that road, I remember I saw a car coming towards me. And in this moment, all I could think of is what would happen if I just let go of the wheel? In a few seconds, it could all be over. In a few seconds, my dad wouldn't lose his house. My team members could find different jobs. I would be out of this hellhole that I put myself in. In a few seconds, it could all be over. To me, at that moment in my life, I thought that that would be the best way out. But I didn't take the easy way out. I refused to settle for where I was. Things were tough, no doubt. And I worked my ass off to make things better. But I wasn't going to settle for the easy way out. I refused to settle for the way that things were in my life. And I worked every day to make them better. And so I remember going to a Peter Pit conference in 2015. That was two years ago. And I remember saying to myself, you know what? If, if I want to change, if I want my life to be different, it's got to start with me. No one else is going to go and change for me. No one's going to make me a better business. No one's going to make me healthier. I've got to do that myself. So I remember driving home from conference and saying, you know what? This is going to be the last day that I will ever be overweight and do nothing about it. So I got up the next day and I started running just a little bit at a time. There was blood in my lugs and my legs were weak with every step. But the next day I got up and I did it again. And the day after that, I did it again. One of the other things that I realized is that what got you here, where you are today, is not going to get you there. What got you here, the same skill set that got you where you are, is not going to take you to the next level. So how do you do that? Once you pick your goal, whether it's losing weight, scaling your business, or advancing your career, I got three steps for you. Number one is making a commitment, deciding what you want to do, and decide and put everything on the line for that. The second one is find someone who can teach you. I always use this as an example. Try and find someone that's just a couple years ahead of you are in whatever goal. Find someone who's already been there. If you want to go to the next level, find someone that's there. And the other thing that I did for years, for years I did this, I tried to do it all myself, which is stupid because you spend so much time, so much effort, and all this wasted opportunity and wasted money trying to learn things that people have already learned. Don't try and reinvent the wheel. It's already there. The next thing, guys, is to work towards your goals every single day, but also to celebrate the small victories. I used to be in a position where I would just get so pissed off. I'd be like, okay, we increased 10% this year. Why didn't we do 15? If we did 15, I'd say, why didn't we do 20? I would get down on myself every time. But the truth is you have to stop and smell the roses. You have to stop and just be happy with where you're at. Enjoy every step of your life, because if you don't enjoy every step of your life, what the hell's the point? So right now today, if you're unhappy with where you are, I don't want you to settle. Because I refuse to settle for an average life. I refuse to settle to leave my business where it is. I will refuse to settle to leave my family and my community where they are. I refuse to settle for being tired, unhealthy, and unhappy, and I refuse to settle for anything less than extraordinary. And the scariest thing in this life is regret. Because when you're 90 year old, sitting in a hospital bed, you can't go back and change anything.
You can look back at all the things that you wish you could have done, but you're powerless to do anything about it. So live with no regrets. You have one life to live. So today, if you're sitting here and you know there's an area of your life that's not where you want it to be, don't settle for anything less than your absolute best life and your most authentic self. All right, guys, I'm Andrew. Thank you.